Good morning, my name is Luigi Concetti. Uh, I will show you today how to make risotto alla milanese. Risotto alla milanese is one of the most famous dishes of the traditional Italian cuisine. First of all, what we need to have is a nice broth. I make today the broth with the vegetables and the uh, pieces of meat which I use hand. Uh, but you can use also just vegetables to do the broth. Um, I use carrot, onion, uh, celery, of course, potato, a zucchini, and um, a few herbs from my garden, like parsley, thyme, uh, white fennel, and rosemary. A piece of garlic, pepper in grain, uh, and a little piece of skin. Of our orange. The other ingredients of the recipe is chopped onion, minced like the grain of the rice, two spoon, large spoon of olive oil, 40 grams of butter, two spoon of bone marrow, a little salt, a glass of white wine, dry white wine, parmesan, parmigiano, 320 grams of rice, carnaroli, saffron styles, saffron powder, let's start to make the risotto by eat our broth and evaporize our dry white wine for a couple of minutes and just leave apart, keep warm. And let's start our recipe. Adding. 20 grams of butter, 2 spoon of olive oil, and the onion, chopped. If you have a gas, just maintain medium heat, just on the top of medium heat, it will be fine. And after a couple of minutes, when it's transparent, Add the rice and toast it. Stir from the center to the side. Try to not stop. Toast it is very important because the grain of rice might have the porous, in which It's getting close, probably, and you maintain al dente the rice until the end. Step for a couple of minutes. Add the wine evaporized and stir and cook until it's absorbed just a couple of minutes, as you see, it's already absorbed. Let's start to cook our rice with the broth. Just put at the beginning two levels, keep going to stir, we keep going to with another level. Obviously the broth they have to be salted, but gently, not too much, because you can correct and have the salt in the end as, as you like. Salt and pepper, of course, as you like. And wait until it's absorbed, but not completely. Leave always a little bit creamy. Let's add the Italian saffron from Abruzzo. And another lot of broth.
when you wait, you can start to break the parmesan. It's very important to break the parmesan during the cooking to maintain fresh, tasty. Put the butter, stir, parmesan. it again, exactly in the middle. Hit a little bit, a little bit of saffron, fresh grated parmesan, and this is the risotto la milanese. So let's have a taste of our risotto. Buonissimo.